Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rechaha Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the holy elect. Peace to the fervent brothers on fire pushing this truth. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah Barakatham to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwath that are listening and learning. This is your brother Yahweh Sah from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. In order to understand future prophecy, you have to understand circular history. Okay? We are living in the times of <clears throat> revelation where things are being revealed unto the men of the Lord and therefore we reveal them unto you. And what you see on the screen is Osama bin Laden, the late, so-called late, Osama bin Laden and you see of course the late Geronimo and this is what they nicknamed or codenamed the Al-Qaeda boss so let's read why Geronimo the White House says that's classified along with the unseen pictures of Osama bin Laden's corpse and questions about what Pakistan knew intelligence officials reasons for dubbing the Al-Qaeda boss Geronimo remain one of the biggest mysteries of the black ops mission well we're here to tell you that it's been revealed through the spirit that we know that Geronimo was one of the biggest adversaries that the US government faced at that time so every war after that the genocidal uh, acts that took place with the natives okay along with the uh, Latinos so called uh, Mexicans alright we know that every war after that pretty much was a reenacting of the Indian Wars. And we got proof. Okay? You got Indian country in country, which tells you that you're behind enemy lines. You are in enemy territory. Okay? Let's get a scripture real quick. Obadiah verse 6 it tells you what? How are the things that Esau searched out hard? How are his hidden things sought up? Through the Spirit of the Lord. Through the revealing of these scriptures, these prophecies that are unfolding right before our eyes. You can't change a man that is used to scalping, that is used to taking over land by violence. All right? Increasing that which is not his. You can't change this guy. Therefore, we know that son of perdition is being revealed. Collateral damage is a code name for what? Killing civilians. Justly. And they come under the banner, banner of what? So-called Christians. As they always do. You see? Why these helicopters, these fighter jets, are nicknamed after our ancestors? This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 29 and verse 15. And it says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. And their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? We know about the Black Hawk. We know about the Apache. Hell, they made a movie off the Black Hawk. But what about the Choctaw? What about the Mohawk. Again, every single war that was fought after they, them colonizing America by the way of genocide, murder, rape, robbery, plunder, pillage, is reenacted of a war they fought with the Indians, so called. The 500 plus treaties that they broke, as in, uh, <clears throat> The, those that was at peace with them, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrase. Hey, man, they pulled out the sword on us. This is Proverbs. So like it. Let's go to the book of Job. This is the book of Job, chapter 24. And verse 13. <clears throat> it says, they are those that rebel against the light. They know not the ways thereof, nor abide in the paths thereof. The murderer... Rising with the light killeth the poor and needy. And in the night 
is as a thief. Lockheed Cayenne. Even the names that they call themselves by have been stolen. They, lay, they name the lands after their own names. And they think they're going to continue in this plundering and pillaging and destroy, destroying the earth. Well, Esau, Edom, you just have been called out. All right? On your crimes, on your atrocities. And the Narva Isle people, when we present this information to them, <laughs> they kind of shrug their shoulders and say, well, you know, it's over. Well, no, it's not. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is preparing slaughter for his children, man. And rightfully so. This is Psalms 59 and 7. Behold, they belch out with their mouth. Swords are in their lips. For who, say they, doeth hear? This is what they say within themselves. Who hear us? Who know us? <laughs> They'll never find out who the who they are and who we are. Well, through scripture, all right, it has been revealed to us through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You understand? This is Psalm 73 and 11. It says, And they say, How doeth God know? And is their knowledge in the most high? They had no idea that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to set up men to come up on the scene. And prophesy that downfall. They had no idea. This is the second amendment. A well regulated militia. Being necessary. To the security. Of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms. Shall not be infringed. This goes back to the blessing. Where with Isaac bless Esau. By the way, you're going to need this. As mischievous, childish, brute beasts these people are, they did and still are to this day using the sword, which in these modern times, all right, are the guns, the ARs. And higher than that, the ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right? With nuclear capability to wipe out cities, to wipe out states, to wipe out people. This is Amos 3 and 6, and this is what we're here to do. All right? We're here to warn the people that uh, which is under the sun, all right, is nothing new. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. And we're here blowing this trumpet. Shall there be evil in the city. And the Lord hath not done it. And we understand when we came back to the obedience of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Repented. Turned back with all our heart. We understand it was of our own transgressions. That we got put into captivity. And more. The curses. Right? We understand that. Now, those that are outside of this ministry, you have no idea. This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Why would they illustrate scalping the far right hand side of the screen? Standing over you with guns. Why was the second amendment even... Uh, uh, published why was it even thought of <laughs> to keep you so-called negroes at bay and to ward off the so-called indians is not is it not right for me to fight for my land if you're over here to take it ask me that but they call the indians what the so-called indians they call them savages they're monsters all right, and he saw always, always have painted this narrative about our ancestors, about our people. You see, but you're being found out. 
Psalms 94 and 8. It says, understand ye brutish among the people and ye fools. When will ye be wise? What you see on the screen is the state reward for dead Indians has been increased to 200. And you should ask a question. Well, what was it before the 200? It was $5 a head. A decapitation. It was 50 cent per scalp. For every red skin sent to purgatory. Now, why would they call the Indians red skin when they are the <laughs> sons of Esau Edom? When they are the nation? You see that the biblical, uh, uh, that the Bible speaks of as being Edom, Idumia, right? Is when they control the narrative, they get to sway the people however they want. This is Psalms 94 and 9. It says, He that planteth the ear shall he not hear. And on a higher scale, this is the Lord telling you he hear and see everything. And he that formed the eye shall he not see. See, Yahweh Shai formed the ear. Yahweh Shai created the eye. <laughs> what makes you think your works are in the dark? What makes you think you're not being revealed? What makes you think the, you, the YouTube guidelines is going to uh, suppress this message, man? You got to be out your mind. You see? Modern day pilgrims. The right to bear arms. Let's get some information real quick. Pay attention. Roughly three-fourths of gun owners are men, and 82% are white. Taken together, it's 61% of adults who own guns are white men. We cannot make sense of gun hoarding and the cult of the gun if we don't deal with white nationalism. And we can't deal with white nationalism without dealing with the United States history. So you can't deal with one Unless you deal with the other Well guess what We are going to wait on the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai For him to deal very 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 treacherously With you people that are back In your bodies today The same ones That raped, robbed, murdered Cooked our babies Fed them the alligators Scalped our brothers Stump the babies out of our women's stomachs. Hey, man, we can go on and on and on. Last scripture, Psalm 30. Uh, this is Job. So like your Job 34 and 22. And it reads, there is no darkness nor shadow of death. <laughs> hint, hint. Where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. All praise to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Lord willing, this was edifying and comforting. On to the next one.